What's up, everybody? Rob here. Today, we're going to be talking about next week's EX dates that we have with Yield Max. It's going to be a big week, guys. We'll show you guys what I plan on doing. Of course, there's going to be 10 million videos on YouTube about what people think the you know it's going to be, all this stuff. If you guys want to go watch all that, go watch it. I'm not going to do any of that stuff anymore. Let everybody else do that. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to talk to you guys about what I'm expecting, what I'm hoping for, and a little bit of what I'm planning on doing with my account. But before we get started with that, guys, if you guys don't mind, please hit that sub button. Uh, like 60% of you guys who watch this, 70% don't sub to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That's what keeps me motivated to keep making these videos and keep sharing my journey with you guys. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would do that. We are up to 7,300 subs. That's really cool. Never thought I'd get that far. So, hey, you know, every step in the right direction, right? So, anyway, let's get into it, guys. We're going to go and look at Yield Max. It's their distribution. You see here we have for – this is the wrong one. This is for this. Okay, right here we have our distribution date. I'm sorry, our declaration date, let's get this up here so you guys can see it. Declaration date is going to be on 7-3, which is next Wednesday. Now, uh, we have EX date of 7-5, record date is 7-5, and payment date of 7-8. It's a little longer this time because we do have the 4th of July week, uh, holiday that's going to be in there. So, of course, everything's going to be closed down on that Thursday. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And, you know, a lot of people, I think, are expecting a little less payment than last month. If any, if any of payments that we saw from Defiance or can any kind of, you know, kind of a lead lead into what we're going to get here. Those payments were all quite a bit down. So it's going to be interesting to see. So I want to jump on over to Robinhood here and take a look at my account. As you see last week, uh, pretty much even over the week, I think. Let's see. And over the week, we were down $369 last week. No big deal. Just basic market fluctuations in that week. Uh, if we look here at Coney, I'm sitting at 205 shares, MIDI 310 shares, AMZ 225 shares. And Misty 880 shares, which is what I'll be getting paid on, not next Monday, but the following Monday when we get our payments. Uh, out of all that, I'm expecting to get between $2,500 and $3,000. Comes out to about $1.50 a share is what I'm expecting my distribution to be. So what am I planning on doing with that money? Okay, so if I have $2,500 hit, that means with margin, I'll have about five grand. probably spend about four of it, to be totally honest with you guys. And I'm probably going to go into QDTE which I really like because it uh, pays every week. And it's still, you know, whenever you average out, it's about 30% payment. So it's pretty cool. And it keeps holding its nav. From now on, if you guys will notice, I do have quite a bit of, you know, the risky stuff. I have the risky stuff here and I know that. So I'm going to go into stuff that's a little more steady, a little, a little more stable with my distributions. That's how I'm going to play this. Uh, the other thing I'm going to be going into is a YMAG. And why am I going to start a YMAX position when I have a YMAX position already? Mainly, you know, I've got 3,600 shares of YMAX, and I don't like some of the stuff they're adding. I really don't. I mean, Airbnb, I have no desire to own any Airbnb. I have no desire to own a lot of the stocks that are in here. The Magnificent 7 Fund, if you guys don't know, the, the YMAG is made up of this right here. It's made up of Google, Amazon, Tesla, eh. Meta, Microsoft, Apple, and NVIDIA. Okay. If you go to my last video I did or two videos ago or something where I made that portfolio of what I thought would be the, the best ones to be in as far as no nav de decline, AM, AM, AMZN was in there, Meta was in there, and MSFT was in there. So it holds three of those. So I am looking for the least uh, nav erosion, nav depletion, whatever I need to call it, that I can get you know, to just stay steady with these funds from now on. Like I said, I've built out the risky part. I've got all my crypto. I don't want any more crypto right now. Um, the exception, of course, will be uh, fiat, which is an inverse crypto. But other than that, that's where my money's going to go. It's going to go to YMAG, and it's going to go to ODTE. I haven't even started my, uh, I'm sorry, QDTE. Why did I say ODTE? QDTE. I haven't even started my YMAG position, but I did buy three shares of QDTE just to kind of get it going and really like this one too, guys. If you'll notice, it's, you know, it's holding its nav. It started at 45. It's at 45.51 and it pays every week. That's what I'm looking for. You know, it doesn't pay as much, but I'm not worried about that. I'm looking at making long term, having these things to where they hold their nav for a long time and just pay out, pay out, pay out. That's where I'm at. I'm going to keep all my other stuff. I'm going to keep my, um, my crypto stuff. The difference, I, I am thinking about making one move with crypto that I'll show you guys really like right now. Uh, I am thinking about eventually, like if, if we shoot back up to where I'm even on my Coney shares, I may sell out a Coney and just put that into Misty. 
and go ahead and get up to that thousand shares of Misty just to have it, get rid of the Coney. I am thinking about doing that, not sure yet. After that, uh, after I get that distribution put in, my next distribution, which will be on YMAX and YMAG, I will be going heavy into AMZ. I need to build this up. I really need to build this AMZ position up. I feel like if I can get YMAG, AMZ, QDTE built up, I really like to get Feppy built up too, but it's not on the priority list right now for me. Uh, but those, I feel like are going to be more steady and more stable than all the rest of the stuff I have here. And that's just going to give me more consistency in the portfolio, which is, you know, kind of what I'm looking for right now. I feel like I've got, you know, I've got a hundred grand in the kind of risky stuff. Now it's time to start putting things into the less risky stuff. Maybe that's the backwards way to do it. That's just how I did it. I don't know. And I'm pretty happy with everything so far. So yeah, that's what I plan on doing guys. I plan on putting about, uh, plan on making about 2,500 to three grand at the beginning of the week. I'm, I'm sorry, the beginning of next week, not, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. That's when the money will be there. For me on Robinhood, for those of you who are new to Robinhood, I know a lot of people are just now switching over to Robinhood. If we look at this distribution schedule, right here where it's saying your payment date is 7-8, your money is not going to be in your account until 7-8, but it's going to be in the PM. It's going to be, I usually get mine at like 7 o'clock in the evening. I'm in the central time zone. It's usually 7 o'clock in the evening before I actually get my money, so you can't trade it that day. But I have noticed that if you do aftermarket trading, and I have actually have a video on that as well, you can go through my videos and see it, where it talks about aftermarket trading. And you can get some really good deals in the aftermarket if you want to go ahead and get that money back in the market as quick as possible. Or if you want to wait for a lower you know, day or whatever, you know, that's, that's your call, whatever you want to do. But that's the cool thing about it, guys. We get paid every week, every month, and you know, we just have that constant inflow of cash. So that's what I'm building up for. That's what I'm trying to do there. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So let me know, guys, what are your thoughts? What are you guys thinking? What are you wanting to do? What are your plans? And once again, I'm just looking to, I, I want to get this up. I want to get this AMZ up. I want to get Wine Mag up, which I haven't bought any of. And I really want to get QDTE up. I like the idea of getting paid every week. I didn't think I would, but hey, 25%, I mean, with, you know, 30%, if you keep reinvesting over the year, that's that's pretty darn good in my opinion, you know, for something that stays flat and you don't lose money on, which of course we hit a downturn. You know, people always ask, what's going to happen to these if you hit a, a, a huge bear market? Same thing is going to happen to everything else. It's going to go down. It's just the way the markets work. You know, when, when you have a huge downturn, you have a huge bear market, stuff goes down. That's the way it works. But the bottom line is, you know, these companies right here that we just looked at in YMAG, they're the companies that are holding up the stock market right now. They just are. These have been holding up the stock market for the last couple of years, actually, if you look at it. These are the companies that are making money. So that's the companies I want to put my money into. And that's why I am like YMAG, but it's also, you know, why I like Feppy. Feppy is the same thing. Feppy, it doesn't pay as big of a distribution, but it, it holds its nav and actually goes up in value. So you can see here's at 54.72. It started at 50 bucks. It's up four dollars and seventy-two cents. And it's paid out. It's paid out constant, consistently. And uh, yeah, it has uh, the top 10 holding. Yeah, it's got some, a little more risky stuff like Salesforce, Palo Alto Network. But look, Amazon, Tesla, Alphabet, Meta, uh, Microsoft, Apple. It's got all the same companies because it is based off of the Magnificent Seven. Uh, and it's they just add a few other companies in every month. They rebalance every month. And I feel like it's an amazing fund paying out a consistent 25%. And consistently keeping that nav up. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.